So this analogy here uh, is one I use with any customer I speak with. Uh, anytime we're talking about wattage, voltage, amperage, battery banks, wire size, all these things, people tend to glaze over. So I find we can really simplify this by using an analogy about the, the solar system in the RV uh, like it's our car and our gas tank specifically. So if you look here, the battery is just like the fuel tank in your car. Uh, so at the bottom of the screen here, we see a 100 amp hour battery. Amp hours are just like gallons of fuel. So at the bottom, we have a 100 amp hour battery. Think of that like a 100 gallon gas tank. We consume gallons of fuel out of a gas tank in our car when we run the motor, just like we consume amp hours back out of the battery when we run anything in the RV, like our water pump, our furnace fan, uh, refrigerator circuit, anything like that. It's pulling amp hours out of the gas tank, just like we pull gallons of fuel out of the gas tank. Now we're gonna put these amp hours back in in a few different ways. In an RV, you're either gonna plug in to shore power, where we have the converter charger start filling amp hours back into our batteries. Uh, we also could have a generator, we could turn that on and do the same process, the converter charger would come on and start putting amp hours back into the battery. Or you could have solar, and solar, anytime it's light out, will return these amp hours back into your gas tank. Voltage is very, very important. It's often overlooked, and it's actually the reason many people have battery issues in the RV industry. Voltage is just like pump pressure at the gas pump. Let's, for instance, say we buy a brand new truck, and it comes with a full tank of gas. If you go and drive that truck 300 miles or so, and now the gas tank's getting low, and you pull up to a gas pump, and that gas pump doesn't have enough pressure behind it to fill the tank back up to 100% full, you can't drive as far the next time you go on the road. It's the same thing in the RV industry. You buy a brand new RV, it comes with brand new batteries in it that are 100% full, you use it for the long weekend or whatnot, now the batteries are depleted, so you go home and you plug in. When you plug in, the, unfortunately the stock converter chargers, many of them only charge your batteries to about 13.7 volts, which is not ideal to charge your batteries to 100%. You wanna actually bring the batteries all the way up to a voltage of 14.4. So essentially, it's like we plug in at our homes and we're only charging our batteries up to 70% from here on out. So every time you go out, you're not able to stay out as long. So this is why a lot of people go back to the RV dealer and are asking the questions, well, what's wrong with my batteries? I can't stay out as long as I did the first time. With every GoPower solar kit, they are all designed to put out 100% charge, 14.4 volts, to bring your batteries up to 100% charge every time they charge them. So every time it's light out, you're going to get batteries topped up right to 100%. Then wire size. Wire size is not as important with the Go Power kits because we already provide you with the correct size wires, uh, but wires are just like fuel lines in your car. If you have a big V8 muscle car and you install too small of fuel lines from the gas tank to the motor, as soon as you go on the highway with that car and you hit the accelerator, it's going to sputter out and not perform because it's not getting all the fuel it needs. It's the same thing with wires with your inverter. If you install very small speaker wires from your inverter to your battery and you go to run a load like a microwave off of that, it's going to sputter out and not perform because it's not getting all the actual fuel it needs or the power it needs through those wires. But as I said before, you always get the right size wire in your kits so everything's taken care of for you.